What's up, y'all? I'm back. I got kicked off because I didn't connect to the Wi-Fi. Happens to the best of us. What up, everybody? Oh, I almost dropped my phone. I'm going to lean it against this paper towel thing. Uh, just so you know, I'm in what used to be a warehouse, but is a, uh, is a rehearsal space now. I haven't been kidnapped. That is, uh, that is, <laughs> it's, that's just the vibe in here. It's real big. There's lots of people rehearsing. Um, sorry I got kicked off for a second. I'm, I didn't, I don't know, uh, I don't, uh, I don't. I don't connect to the Wi-Fi ever. That's like my toxic trait <laughs> is that I, I really don't ever log on to the native Wi-Fi. And then at the end of the month when Verizon's like, oh, you have no data. I'm like, how? Anyway, what's up, everybody? Uh, Michelle, thanks for listening to the duet with Chris. That is like one of I was telling people on Station Head yesterday that it's like one of the best things I've ever been a part of creatively and like. I just really can't believe that Chris Stapleton was on a song with me. I don't even know really what else to say about it, except that I feel really lucky. Um, Rebecca gets it about Wi-Fi. It's not always easy. <laughs> Name drops Chris Stapleton and then immediately goes back to Wi-Fi issues. Uh, yeah, no, it's not always easy to trust Wi-Fi or people. But, uh, but that's... That honestly is a great segue into the video I'm about to premiere. Uh, so a while ago, I got the opportunity to work at uh, Electric Lady Studios, which is a studio that Jimi Hendrix built in New York. And I'm a huge Hendrix fan. And so naturally, I was like, I'm probably going to do mushrooms for this, right? <laughs> so I did. Uh, and uh, I got into the studio and I was like, I just want to write something that feels fitting of the space or whatever. Um, <laughs> and uh, and apparently emotionally, I wanted to talk about this time when I was eight that nobody showed up to my birthday party, which is like not, it's a thing that happens. One thing that I've learned from releasing this song is like lots of people go through that thing where uh, nobody it, nobody shows up to something that they want people to show up to. Uh, but I sort of wanted to write about the way that that, sm not small event, but that event that hurts you can like sort of blossom into a narrative that you tell yourself about relationships and life, uh, you know? And I think that it's been really... It's been really interesting now that the song Taking Things For Granted is out in the world because obviously when I say I wrote a song about nobody coming to my birthday party, you think that I'm uh, going to have an acoustic guitar and be sad, but probably because of the aforementioned mushrooms, I was like, what if the Beach Boys and Radiohead met and made noise and they wanted to sing a song about how nobody came to my eighth birthday party? That's how I approached dealing with this emotion um and it's interesting because I like I really if you take the lyrics down they're very very sad um there's a I'm rehearsing right now for some shows that are coming up and so I have like lyrics like in my brain um uh sometimes it feels like everyone's looking at the surface and they're watching me drown on purpose and I like that's sad shit. <laughs> that's really sad when you sort of like put your money where your mouth is. But uh, I think that being able to produce it in a way that sounded like one of two of my favorite, you know, rock bands, you know, Beach Boys, Radiohead, both rock bands, both boy bands, however you want to, you know, deal with that emotionally. It's all true. Um, I, uh, I, I, I think I just wanted to 
make something that mixed the sadness and the anger and the fury and the confusion and also sort of sounded like I put my friend Elliot in a pool. I feel like that's important when you're producing. It's like, if the events of the song are taking place under or near water, some of the music should sound like it's underwater. <laughs> I am probably like a, a legacy producer's nightmare. I like, I... I treat producing like I treat playing like Game Boy. Like I think it's like this incredible gift to be able to like play with all the sounds and the colors and the feelings and um and so being able to produce taking things for granted was really important to me because I wanted to be able from start to finish control the sonics and say like if this song is about this and this is sort of what I want people to hear and feel if you listen to the atmos mixes on apple music like there's like a or like i get like i just if you listen to atmos it just like it really makes it like it makes it feel like you're underwater <laughs> i'm gonna stop talking about sounding like you're underwater um, and get back to the meat and potatoes uh so <laughs> this video that i'm about to share is like we did, we, the band and I got together and we played a few of the songs from the record in front of this massive video wall. They have one here in Nashville at View Studios. Um, and it's like, if you watch The Mandalorian uh, or like any sort of like a Disney plus like massive production, they use this tech. And basically you can put anything on the planet on this screen and it's big and, uh, and, you sort of can transport, like we shot a few videos in a day and we did each one at a different location. Um, and I think that it like is a really, 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 really cool live video. So it's m me and my band friends and there's obviously some pool accessories involved, <laughs> you know? Cause if you're gonna do a song about how no one came to your pool party, you're going to put your friends in floaties. I think that that's fair. I, I feel like that's fair. Um, <laughs> but that's just my mental process with it. Um, so anyway, I'm very excited for these videos because one, I don't, I have a weird relationship with my recorded music. Maybe because I produce some of it, I feel too close sometimes and I think it's all bad. <laughs> uh, but uh I think playing live, when I'm able to like craft a live experience that feels satisfying, uh, I get really excited because it's like, not only am I making music with my friends, but I'm making music that feels good and that maybe helps other people feel good. And I think that is, that is part of the fun. <laughs> yes, Eric, it was floaties for safety. That's what I'm telling them. There's no water involved. <laughs> but still floaties. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like these, these live videos are going to be really, really fun way of, you know, if it, you know, I plan on touring for a little bit, uh, but if you can't make it to a show, I feel like these live videos are going to be a really cool way of us, like, sharing what we're making as a band and as a team, um, even though you can't always, you know, party. I love you too. Um, so much. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's, I think it's, I think it's gonna be really fun. I, I'm excited about this one. I'm trying to think of other things that I could tell you. And if you have questions, we have three minutes. So you could ask all your deepest, darkest questions before we watch. Am I going to come to SC? Well, see, SC means lots of different things to lots of different people. It could be South Carolina or it could be Sports Center. I don't think Sports Center is going to have me on anytime soon. Although I think my music has been on Sports Center. The boys in their sports love my little songs. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> South Carolina, yeah, I think I'm going to come to South Carolina. I should do that. I've, I like people there, and I hear they have music venues. So could be could be a valiant effort. Michelle, have I ever sang with Tracy Chapman? No. Here's why I respect the hell out of Tracy Chapman. She, like, dropped four albums and then actively said, please don't call me. <laughs> like, please. She doesn't, she doesn't like, a, like, a tour or, you know, make 
I think she made one appearance during the 2006, no, 2020 election. So I like, uh, I think that there's like this emotional energy that Tracy Chapman has put out is that like the work that she has put into the universe speaks for itself in a way. And I think as someone who like makes work that is so vulnerable, uh, it's sort of like cool to have a hero that's very much still alive and seemingly very much still healthy, but like is very like intentional about what they say yes or no to. Um, and so I'm not, I'm not going to email Tracy Chapman asking her to, <laughs> to sing. Uh, but if she finds out about me and wants to like do it, it could be tight. Or like if if Tracy Chapman ever wanted to do the Cupid Shuffle, I just wanna I just wanna have a good time. I just I just wanna go to 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 karaoke with Tracy Chapman. I don't have to sing with her. I'm not special. I just think going to karaoke with her would be tight. I feel like I would learn a lot. Is this what you sign? Is thought you would be signing up for? <laughs> you know when you logged on to the live. Um, before we go, we have about 30 seconds because I'm wearing a fancy watch with a second hand. Uh, thank you all for listening and for being here. I've like, I read some stats on like this release and it just means so much that y'all are listening and that you care. Um, and I'm super, 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 super excited to just share this with the people that love it. And um, yeah, you're going to see me make some interesting creative choices during a guitar solo in this video just it's not easy okay so it's just know <laughs> that it's not easy uh but thank y'all for listening thank you for tuning in and just being invested every single step of the way and let's hop over to the live taking things for granted video because i think it's gonna be tight mad max that is the best thank you absolutely for just giving me that that gift <laughs> of knowing where you're from and who you are because that's i make music to reach all different types of people and it means a lot that all different types of people are here